Hello guys, me Carlos Santos, aka Happy Car957, and welcome to a new season of NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. So, season 1 already, and I'm already trying to establish my race teams for Extreme Dirt, Trucks, and Cup. So, as you see on the screen, I know what I'm gonna select, and that's Tony Stewart Smoke Racing. So, basically, my owner's a cool dude. He got everything he got, and he's gonna put, give me good equipment to like dominate and win a championship. So it's gonna be one and done, or else I'm gonna have to repeat another season. So, which I don't mind, but yeah, I want to get this done over with. And uh, so, from what I've learned in Heat Three, Heat Four, with this kind of format. I mean, I am so amazed at the career mode gameplay, the physics, the you name it. It's just so normal, so plain, simple, you know. And I can tell it's it's going to be a good game for NASCAR 86 next year. I'm telling you. So, to introduce to you guys that are new to NASCAR Heat, I'm starting my own team for trucks and I'm quickly trying to upgrade my parts for engine, chassis, and the body, I believe. If you can see it. And I'm getting a super speedway and a speedway chassis setup. Or a chassis, body, whatever you name it. It says purchase a new car, whatever kind of chassis you want it to look like on and off the racetrack. It's the only way you're gonna perform. And and then what you see in the bottom left of the screen is your list of employees and how you raise their training level in each of their categories and so forth. So and then in the, a few seconds ago when you, you looked at the bottom right hand of the screen you saw a list of tracks in which you have to put the actual chassis on so like for super speedway it would be Daytona and Talladega and then the speedways like Atlanta, Homestead and Las Vegas as an example so, so bear with me as I Gonna tutor you guys that are new or haven't played a NASCAR heat game in a while, or those that are returning gamers, you know. I mean, it's a lot of fun, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm back for another season, and if you guys want to race with me online on my Xbox One, my gamer tag is happy. Well, it's not Happy Car 957, but you might have mistaken it. But my actual Xbox gamer tag is Larsanity42. I'll repeat it again Larsanity42. Okay. It's L A R S A N I T Y 4 2. Plain and simple. So, so, I'll catch you guys later and I'll. Qualify my truck. So.
And so, sorry about the volume. And so, here's my newly designed paint scheme for my truck team. So, I moved all my assets from extreme dirt and then move on to trucks so so my qualifying time for the trucks not very happy happy start dead last so hope i can make something up for the race and just do the best i can it's only like a three star kind of ride i believe and it's not gonna suck up well in the draft though so for this truck race, my goal is just to be mid-pack and try to do some tandem draft things. So don't expect me up there near the front of the pack. So I'm just like a rookie, only except I'm a 20-year rookie. Like every year, I say, "Oh, you're gonna have to work on the mechanics of the game." The way the game developers of this racing genre do, like NASCAR, and so forth. So, so the green flag is out, and here we go at Daytona Trucks. So, I'm behind one of the Nice racing trucks, so. and hey, at least I'm not dead last. I'm just. I'm just in the draft and <laughs> trying to make a move, that's all. And as, ooh, ooh, Josh Rangoon wanted to spin me out and put me in the infield. And stage one ended really early, so. Oh well. I'll. Hmm. I wonder how this race will end up, so I'm not gonna do much commentating in the race. Like, you guys can skip through a majority of this truck race because there's not much to say, and all I can say for those that are new to racing and you don't want to see guys run the back all the time, oh, you go go to the end of the race for trucks. So. That's all I can say.
So I fast forward to the end of the race, so it's five laps to go and I believe Mark Mike Harmon is trying to give me a tandem draft because we just basically lost the draft, so if you watch parts of the race, it wasn't that impressive, you know. My truck is just a dart without fenders, just all over the place and no way to catch it in every corner, you know, especially in the bottom. Plus, it has no more motor, motor in the straights and the aerodynamics. The car doesn't suck for the draft real well, and that's what that's what you expect for a you know an up and coming team just trying to make it to the sport, you know. For all that hard work, that's what it takes. So, so yeah, I drift up the track. I let Mark Harmon pass me, and <laughs> what can I say? Why did I have to let? Ooh, caution! Looks like I'm not gonna be finishing dead last after all, and make up some spots, you know. And beat my incentive contract of top 30, you know. That's what it should say in the top right corner. So, if you're new to the NASCAR Heat series, you'll always see that goal objective on the top right of your screen. So, so as you can tell, it's overtime, meaning one lap or more than the advertised distance of a race. So, so for me being the experience in racing drowners, you know, I always take my time. Like whoever's in the back bumper, I have to make them hesitate to make sure if they get in the back of me and spin me out, well, that's fine. Because Robin's racing, you know, and like they can hit you on the side, they can hit you in the rear, and maybe you you Hit him in the front, too. <laughs> so that's Robin's racing terminology there. Oh, and I give... Hmm. Tate Fogelman, yeah. I think that's Tate Fogelman for a position. So I'm 28 right now. <laughs> and trying to sniff that draft. And I lost momentum because of that. And really, yeah, look at the bottom right of your screen. It tells you the miles per hour you're get. Yeah. What am I gonna say? In your attack um, speedometer, I should say. Well, in these trucks and cup cars, there are no speedometers. You just only have an odometer to see how many RPMs you have in the motor, so. So. I'm gonna get the checker flag and finish 28th, so not bad for my first start in, in trucks. So let's look at the speed rating 102, not bad. So. Ooh, what can I say? That was a tough race, though. <laughs> I mean, I will get ready for cup racing and. Hopefully do well in the Daytona 500 so. See you guys later.
So I'm back to recording another edition of NASCAR Heat 5. So here's my qualifying lap so far. And mm, I kind of believe I hit the wall when I was doing my, my two lap qualifying lap laps. So I, once again, I start dead last. Shotgun in the field, so. Oh, well. I guess I'm gonna have to figure out who the bolt center is, so. Just let me hold on one second. It, yeah, it says Corey LaJoy. Corey LaJoy is the bolt center, so. So, <laughs> I usually have to take off my glasses because I don't want people to think I'm a nerd or have this kind of stereotype in me thinking, oh, he's such a genius. He wants to be a NASCAR owner or a driver, you know? Like, I have to be positive, you know? Like, this squinting stuff during the nighttime. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase, Mr. Santos. <laughs> So, I move up two spots and start 38, and I tug in behind Cole Custer, so. Let's just hope my Daytona 500 is a success, and it'll lead me to some kind of reward when, after, after the regular season is done, I can accumulate all those playoff points and be able to use them, you know? To make it to the final four, so so to give you a spoiler alert, I'm all the way up to Talladega Super Speedway. So I'm gonna up upload as many races as I can within this week, so so I can keep you guys entertained and hope you guys don't sleep on me because I might quiz you guys and say who won this Daytona 500, you know. In my YouTube channel, so I know you guys go to all the NASCAR YouTubers out there, so they all do great things for the community and bond together, like go to the races. So, and so to let you guys know, Wednesday night is the Bristol, yeah, let me say. The All -Star NASCAR Cup All Star Race at Bristol Motor Speedway. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm amazed, man. Never do it at a one half mile racetrack, trying to experiment with all the aer aero packages. <laughs> like in Bri <coughs> sorry. So in Bristol, all you do is work with mechanical grip, you know, and. You don't have to do this much, you know, fixing the package or, you know, the engine. You got the engine, you got tires, you got chassis, and then you have, you know, the body. That's all. Like the, and I mean body, the fabrication of it, you know. Like, I mean... You can bump and bang as much as you want, but there will be one guy that has a lot of damage, and they can win the All-Star Race, I'm telling you. How would you feel if a, no, a guy with that much damage would do that? that it'd be amazing, so. So, let's cut to this video so far. So, lap 10 of 50 so far in this Daytona, I call it the 125 because I'm not really racing 500 miles, so <laughs> really easy for me to say. So, so I got up to 18th place on that run, and I think we're in stage two, I believe, right? Yeah. So if I, just to let you know, I'm going to fast forward to like stage 3, so 
stage two wasn't all that special. I was somewhere in the thirties, so you know where I finished in this video clip so in the next five to ten minutes while you keep watching my video man I was I was like a ping ball I'm t telling you oh never mind I, I did a strategy move <laughs> I'm, I'm all the way in the lead <laughs> I mean to give a Review on NASCAR Heat 5, 6, probably a 6 out of 10. And I don't like it when I, people mock me and say, Oh, I don't like how you say it's a copy and paste. We're all new to this game. And for all the people of all ages, probably in the age 18 to 34 year old demographic group, that is where most game developers want to like target that audience, you know. I don't want to say people under 10 would like this game, but you know, I don't mind it, you know. So, well, I got drop kit back to 6. <laughs> so, I'll catch you guys at the end of the race. Five to go, five to go. Yellow flag. Coming to the green, driver. Be ready. Green down.
So we're coming to the end of the Daytona 500 in the year 2020. So, as you can see, if you have watched the previous video of the, let me say, if you guys have watched my previous video the, a few days ago, I did a a Daytona or a NASCAR Heat 5 pre review of the gameplay and physics of it and I actually used this exact video on my you know video clip or should I say thumbnail to be exact and in the meantime I was figuring out how I was gonna say it to you guys about how I was gonna like what should I say? How I was gonna get the lead from Map Dominion, you know, like I could. I know I explained a lot better in that uh, NH5 review video clip I did, but hey, at least you guys are watching. And sometimes I get a little bit of stuttering and mumbling during my public speaking because. I know it's YouTube, it's the whole world for me to see my video, so I, nothing has to be perfect unless you have to, it's not about memorizing, it's just, you know, oh, that's me on the race, <laughs> I should be narrating right now, not, not talking about nonsense. <laughs> So, this, yeah, that bump from Matt to Ben and Dale didn't help me at all. I have to be quiet because my mom's coming in. So. Man, I should have not recorded during the night time. <sighs> I'm trying to decide whether to record or not, but <laughs> if a few of you watched my NASCAR Heat 5 review with this exact video in there, then hey. It's not worth trying to record, but anyways, I'm aka Happy Corner 957. You all have a good evening, and I hope many more of my videos I do in the near future for NASCAR E5 for the Cup Series, Truck, and Extreme Dirt Tour for Season 1 is a lot better than what I'm having to do. So, I kind of felt uncomfortable doing it during this point in time because I have to hurry up and put on all these videos in there so it wasn't my best video but I've done better video segments better than this so sorry for the discouragement about me mumbling and stuttering you know? and not thinking about what you guys saw in the race footage so or the video game, whatever you call it. So, I'll see you guys later and peace out.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now. So click on that bell button if you want to subscribe for more content. Get the thumbs up button if you like the video so much. And if you found my recent video interesting, share a comment down below the description so you can comment with others and give them feedback of how you felt about it. So I'm AK Happy Corner 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.